Hey everyone, uh, this is a video uh, review of firmware 3.0 that just came out for the PS3. Um, I had uploaded a video a while ago uh, that sort of showed the process of downloading it and updating and all that kind of stuff. Um, and some people would ask, uh, well, what do you actually think of firmware 3.0? So I thought I would do a video about that. Um, so as you can see, um, I've sort of gone for a really kind of nighttime uh, lighting for this one because I thought it would be more interesting to see uh, f the new sort of look of firmware 3.0 in a sort of darker setting. It looks a lot you know, nicer uh, when there's low light and everything. So as you can see, sparkles. <laughs> Whether you like them or not, it's pretty neat. Um, I like it. Um, there are some people that aren't a fan of it. The great thing is, is that if you don't like it, you can go back to the old, the old um, look. Um, what I did like about the old, um, the, or sort of the classic look, as it's being called now, is that the um, little wave in the background there it would sort of um, change colors um, based on the time of day, um, and I've. So far as what I've, that I've noticed is that that with the new uh, uh, sparkle theme, it's always that same color. It doesn't actually change with um, the time of day. So that's kind of disappointing because I uh, I thought it was kind of interesting how it was always different. Um, maybe Sony will you know put that you know back in for the for the new look. I'm not sure. Um, the interesting about the, the interest, interesting thing about the sparkles that I don't think some people have have noticed because like I personally haven't seen anyone point it out um, is that it's actually physics based. So right now you can see that the sparkles are moving and they're sort of in focus and not in focus. There's kind of like a, you know a mixture of the of the two. Um, but if you actually say move your uh, the XM B to the left and to the right. As you can see, the 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 sparkles will are, will like you know adjust for how you're you're uh, moving around. So if I go this way, it goes to the it moves to the right a little bit because it's it's noticing that I'm going to the left. And if I go to the right, it's going to the now the left. And also, if I uh, go up or down. Um, through the list, say I go down, as you can see the sparkles will move up, and then if I go back up through the list, the sparkles will move down. I don't know if you can really see it that well with that uh, zoom. Let me zoom in a little bit more, you can sort of see what I'm talking about. So if I go down, the sparkles move up, you can see, and then if I go back up, the sparkles move down. It's a little, you know, it's just a little neat thing, you know, but it's interesting because it actually, it's actually physics based, but yeah, I haven't really seen anyone point that out, how the background actually moves for how you move during, during, uh, the list. Um, what else is sort of new about it? As you can see now, the PlayStation Store has this right side that comes out, which is interesting. Now you can actually pick with what you want to go through, whatever options they give you. And if you just want to go into the store, you can go there. Some people don't like this new thing. They're, they say that it's a little too much like um, Microsoft's uh, interface um, by adding this little side thing, but I, I, I don't mind it at all. Like, you know, the great thing about the Sony interface is that it's not cluttered. Some people think by adding this, it's now it's making it more cluttered, but come on. It's not that cluttered. Like when you're comparing it to the 360 um, NXE, which is a complete clutter fest. Like I absolutely hate the new Xbox interface. It's 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 like complicated. If you want to find something, you got to go through like so many different ways to get there. Um, I just I think it's totally you know especially if you're a new Xbox owner, it's going to be a lot more confronting than their original um, Blade interface. So I, I'm not a fan of the 360 uh, interface, and, it, and it, you know, it's, it makes it slower. And, you know, whereas with the great thing about the PS3 interface is that it's so simple. Like, everything, you know, where everything is, 
and it's just a you know it's a left to the right thing and an up and down thing. It's not it's not cluttered. It's not complicated. And I and I think by adding this little side thing, it's not it's it hasn't really made it more complicated or, or cluttered. Um, now some people said why 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 is the uh, one um, why is there a PlayStation Store in the video section? Well, that's because if you're in a region where you can download movies and things like that, you could actually go straight. Uh, to the store video area from there, but since I'm in Canada, we don't have this, the video store, so I can't actually access it. Access, access it. Sorry. Um, so I don't know why Sony ha still has this option available for people who can't have actually access it. I think it's kind of useless there. Like unless you can actually enter the store there, then why? If you can't enter the store there, then why is it there? You know, it, this this. So yeah, the one the, the PlayStation Store shouldn't really be there. I don't think, in the video section unless you can access it. Maybe they'll remove that later in a firmware update. Or maybe the video store is coming to Canada. Maybe that's what this means. I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, as you can see, the um, sort of top right now has a new little design for... Uh, for uh, It's like a little ad thing. It's the kind of marquee that goes by. Uh, there's been a lot of negativity about this. I don't know why, um, because in the original or the old firmware, there was that yellow information box, and it would it would you know send advertisements out. Like people don't they're saying they don't like this because it's basically you're getting advertisements. Well, it's the it's no different from when you had that little yellow thing up there. Um, you know, I I think this is there's nothing wrong with that up there like if you don't like the messages just don't read them the only thing I look up there for is if I get messages and what the time is and what's great is now is if you want to check the battery on your remote if you press it now you can actually see it um, before they had it on top of the clock which was kind of annoying so but now it's they put it in a good position where it doesn't block anything uh, what else is new the friends list is obviously new. Um, let's zoom out so you can see it better. It's kind of going to be kind of hard to read because of the lighting and everything like that. But the friend list is is new. Um, some people don't like the gray background. I personally don't mind it. Like there's been complaints that it's hard to read and all that kind of stuff. At nighttime, it really isn't. I could see maybe what people mean during the day. Uh, if you have a lot of light coming in, maybe it would be a little bit more uh, difficult to read. But yeah, I think it, I think it's been kind of overblown the whole friends list thing. Um, what else is new? Um, obviously, um, with 3.0, this it removes uh, the the um, you know PlayStation 3 original logo for when you start a game on for original PS3 owners. So that's good for them. For slim owners, that was already taken out. So that's good. It gets you into the game quicker. Um, and it also uh, re uh, makes makes the rebranding of PlayStation 3 um, uh, for all consoles be the same because they've changed the logo and all that kind of stuff. So 3.0 introduces that. 